Welcome back to my channel, it's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a casual reseller on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. You can find me at Afternoon Tea on the Canadian app as well as Tea Time on the US app. For today's video, I want to share my sales for the month of February. I'll probably just go over my best sales or maybe sales that I was happiest with. And if you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So my best sale on the Canadian platform was this Lululemon Sea Wee's Energy Bra. It was brand new with tags. I did list it kind of high just because Sea Wee's is kind of a more sought after collection from Lululemon and it sold for a best offer of $99. My next best sale on the Canadian platform was this Lululemon Easy Going Hoodie. Again, this was brand new with tags and it sold for a best offer of $85. My next best sale was again another Lululemon item. This was a Lululemon on the fly pant and these I had actually thrifted and these sold for a best offer of $67. The last sale that I want to talk about is actually Lululemon as well. This was an older style Lululemon bag. It was called the Groove 2 bag and I actually picked this up on Facebook Marketplace and I sold it for a best offer of $70. On the US platform, one of my highest sales were these Citizens of Humanity pants. They were the Lila style and they sold for a best offer of $90. These were actually a retail arbitrage find, but Citizens of Humanities is probably one of the more consistent jean brands that I find um, sells well for me. One of the sales that I was happiest about was this bundle of six items. They were all items that had been sitting for a really long time and I kind of regretted picking up. Um, and it was all like athleisure wear. It consisted of this purple Nike zip-up sweater, as well as this Adidas sweater, these champion jogger pants, um, Under Armour black jogger pants, um, this Fila black um, and blue sweater, and this North Face sweater. So the buyer actually had liked all of these items and I put it into a bundle myself and I sent her an offer that was, I think it was maybe like 60% of my listing price. I wasn't really expecting her to accept my offer and I was really happy that she did because all of these items had been in my closet for way too long. So I was glad to see them go. Next, um, another one of my highest sales were these Lululemon Rogue leggings. These again were brand new with tags and it sold for a best offer of 80. Another relatively high sale was this Aritzia Wilfred El Coolman jumpsuit. This is a pretty popular style. I myself have one of these as well, and it sold for a best offer of $65. Another high sale was this bundle of two Lululemon men's shirts. These were actually both of my husband's. A buyer had liked both items. I put it into a bundle and I sent an offer. They countered with an offer that was $5 less, which was quite reasonable. So I accepted the offer and I was glad to see them go as they were my husband's and um, they were just sitting around anyways. And the last sale that I want to mention on the US platform was my best sale and also my fastest sale. They were these Freebird by Stephen Bond sandals. They were um, brand new without the box. They had like one small scuff, but it was hardly noticeable. I listed them for $180 and within a minute I received an offer for $100 um, and I did counter for I think $165 and I believe they sent a counter offer for $150. So even though I was pretty happy with $150 in that span of me dealing with this one um, buyer, I received a lot of interest from other people. So I was just, um, you know, waiting it out for a bit and Within like 10 minutes, somebody bought it straight out for my full asking price of $180. So Freebird is definitely a brand that should be on your bolo list and I was very happy with this sale. And the last sale that I want to mention um, was one kind of interesting sale that I had on eBay. I sold this collection of Selby books. They were um, a set of three. These were actually all of my husband's and he was actually going to donate it and I said, why not list it on eBay? He was very doubtful that I would be able to sell these books. I think I had it listed for $50 and I received an offer for $40 and because they were just laying around anyways and we almost donated them, I was happy with the offer and they went to a new home. So that concludes today's video. Let me know if you like um, this style of video for kind of a recap of my sales. I'm thinking about making two what sold videos a month instead of just one really long one at the end of the month. Let me know if you like this style better or if you like seeing all the sales um, or just seeing like my highest or the best sales that I had of the month. Just let me know in the comments below. 
So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.